on today's episode of The Game Chasers. There's plenty of games Do that for harder, do that harder, no nuts. And I can't bicycle kick through the air or shoot fireballs for that matter. It is getting late in the day, so we gotta hurry. Yeah. Uh, I might as well get some Game Gear games here. That's a really good game. So we are once again heading to one of our very favorite flea market vendors, Don, because we always know that he's got games, games, games. You guys may remember him as the guy who gave Billy that Sons of Anarchy t-shirt for his Atari t-shirt. No, we should have already hit his booth by now. So Don's not here, bummer, but that don't matter. There's still a whole flea market here. We're gonna take a look around. Star Wars one. We need some Star Wars one. He's not looking. All right, so stupid redneck Chris just came up and said he found some games down the way. What the hell's he doing looking ahead of us? That's my question. Right, I haven't been explaining these rules. Okay. We have this rule if we go in somewhere, if everyone doesn't go in looking together, if someone walks in first and finds something, they don't have dibs oh, okay. because they went in and tried to undercut basically. No, I went pee. Y'all said y'all were going to be right where y'all were at. I came out and y'all were gone. Not only were y'all gone, but y'all were on the other end of the spectrum of the freaking place we were at. So I can't help it if I'm just walking, trying, because I, I saw y'all. I saw y'all at the end of the aisle. So I'm walking. I'm, I'm walking towards y'all. And I'm doopy 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 doo. And I look over and I'm like, oh, video games. You know what you are? You're the kind of motherfucker I can't leave my fries around. I no, can't, no. I can't, I all can't right. order burger right. fries, get up and, you know and move because you, you guys are? my fries. You know what you kind of guys are? What? Stuff people sent us and then not tell me that anybody sent me anything. That's on him. Hey, okay, it's not like it was a secret. It was on the video. It was on video. But, That's did, okay. you, That's but true. did you tell me? Yeah, I wasn't going to buy them without y'all. I just was verifying that they were for sale. I call bullshit. I'm looking for video games. What do you think I'm looking for? I can help you. We just want to look in this box. Go ahead. Oh, he does. Right. I've already looked at it. Can I put these? Can I put these down? Yeah. All right. So stupid Chris found one. We got we got you know some games over here. Pretty decent games. Pretty cheap. She said the ones that aren't marked with the red dot are half off. So that's three bucks. I believe all the games in there are half off. All the games are half off. I believe so. Oh my God! There's fucking games at the flea market and they're fucking cheap. Holy shit! Games. Well, Jay and I both have this. You want it? Yep. I'll right. take that. Pretty much everyone has 007 except for Chris. And what's great is he actually used to have the game. I wish there was some sort of fucking data log where I could go back and see how many hours I played each game. Because I'm sure that game, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours played on that game. Actually, that's a really good game. I was, I was a young back then. Hey. 15 year old back. Whew. Hey, look who's actually recording. <laughs> kick him, kick him! Leave the Billy the door. I don't have Pinbot either. But got him, got him, got him, need him, got him, got him. Here, you need Pinbot. So, most of the stuff in here I have already. However, one of the things that I don't, and I got my eye on right here, is a Terminator for the Sega Game Gear. Ooh, Terminator on Sega uh, Game Gear? I don't have that one. So I don't have a lot of experience with the Game Gear. I didn't grow up with one, and my collection for the system is quite modest. So whenever I run across a game like, say, Terminator, that I don't have, and it's only a couple bucks, I'm gonna pick it up. Why not? I don't know much about the game. I'm sure it's based on the first movie. Yeah, I might as well get some Game Gear games here. You know, I really don't have a whole lot of experience with Game Gear. Um, I didn't have one growing up. Played a friend's or time or two. The, uh... 
sought out on PlayStation by collectors. Well, how much is it? Half off eight. It's half off eight. You gotta get it. You gotta you get said it. you had enough PlayStation. You gotta get it. Yeah, dude. You gotta get it. Why not buy it? Right? Eagle Strike for Game Gear. That's a really good game. Fine. Yeah, dollar fi for a dollar fifty, I'll pick it up. Why not? Why not? Fine. Yeah. There's no games here anymore for us, so I'm gonna. I'm just moving on to other things like vinyl now. So. But there's games for me. There's plenty of games. Do that for me. harder. Do that harder. No nuts. So we didn't exactly strike gold here at this flea market, but we did get a really good deal on all the stuff that we got. I let him add it up, so I'm sure he's done it right. It looks good. 1750. 1850 with my 1850. 1850 for all these games, not too shabby considering Goldeneye itself will sell for more than that. So this is a good, this is a win. Thank you very much. Uh -huh, thank, you. thank you. Now to the next flea market because tap this one out. It is getting late in the day, so we gotta hurry. We'll sell them all at one time. Yeah. yeah. Well, what were you, uh, what were you asking about? That's just uh, filler. That's just to keep the things from sticking around. Uh, no, I mean the whole lot. I want $50 for the whole box. 50 Yeah, there's 40 in there, 40 games. For the price, it's not terrible, honestly, but when you have everything in the box, you know, you can't justify spending money. If you're just starting off with this Atari collection, this is actually not a bad deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so we're on the last stretch of the flea market here. Kind of going through things pretty quick because like we said, it's starting to close down. I spy with my stupid brown eye, a red box. It's an activator. What's the activator? It's a controller. This thing here in this red box. More specifically, it's a motion controller made for Sega. And it makes a ring around you. They have sensors all around it and you move your hands and feet, whatever, over the sensor and based on what you do, the character on screen will do. It's used for fighting games. I know, I think Street Fighter was uh, one of those games that it was used for. Is it some kind of computer business? Yeah, kind of a video game thing. So, uh, well, it's not a price on it. Make me an offer. It's another man's, but. 10 bucks. Of course, I'm gonna shoot a little bit low here. Well, give me 15. If it's complete, I'll pay his 15. Me and him bought a bunch of stuff together, but I don't remember that then. I think that's it. some stuff Jerry brought up. Yeah, she must have brought Do you have any more video game stuff? No. Can we no. put it together real quick, make sure it's all there? Yeah, yeah do whatever you want Yeah, if you find a place. Right here's good. Yeah, there's a good clean table right over there or whatever. I'm sure it works just as well as all the NES paraphernalia that, you know, like the U-Force and Power Glove and all that stuff. It looks like it's going to all be here. Gimmicky, yes, but as a collector, this is the kind of thing that catches your eye. Is it all there, my friend? Yeah, it looks like, like it. it. We're here. I'll no. go ahead and take it. Okay, it's all complete. Does this thing work? I won't know until I get home and test it. So, at $15, considering it's boxed, why not? Well, good. So, that's a game you play? Yeah, um, it was. Um, it's basically a controller because usually you can play with the, the pads, but you could step into this and kind of use your body as a controller, but it didn't work half the time. Yeah, I'm right. Well, $15 down to tell you how I'm Got it. They need to be worth my major stuff. Now, what's this man here? Is he with Channel 11 or what? Yeah, um, yeah he's uh, I wish. I'd be making yeah. some money. We basically, we basically uh, do a show on YouTube where we go around looking for gaming stuff like that. So I wouldn't call the flea markets a complete bust. I think we found some pretty decent things, some things that, uh, well, we, we needed. So actually, that makes it a win. Um, Sorry, there's no Bonk's Adventures in this episode. Good thing, good thing, good, what? Good stuff. So we're in the Roswell area, and by the area I mean we're in Roswell. Of course, when we're here, we have to go to Galaxy Games. It's been over three years. The last time we were here, we scored pretty damn good. Thank you, sir. I'm really thinking here that their prices are still just as badass as they were three, four years ago. The store looks pretty much exactly the same as last time we were here. The only thing different is what's on the shelf. 
These would be all the full box ones. And then we have over some. They're five bucks, right? You said? Yeah, an average five dollars. Really? I'm happy to, to pay $5 for some 3DO games because I don't have very many of them. I'll get this, it's just because it's got Mark Hamill on it. One 3DO game that I'm seeing here that I absolutely think that I have to have is Ring Commander 3. And just merely because it's got Mark Hamill on the cover. And it's a space type game. This is one of those places that kind of takes one certain kind of game and says, all right, we're going to do everything for X amount of dollars. How much your Genesis games? Uh, they usually go about five bucks, unless they're harder to come by, and then they're like the higher up. Oh, this one's 20. That one's 20. Yeah, that one's exactly. Obviously, premium titles, they're going to charge a little bit more of a premium price. That's to be expected. I see the Nintendo 64 section. I'm dangerously close at this point to completing my Nintendo 64 collection. Duck Dodgers right there. What do y'all have on that? $5. Okay, I come across the game I need here, which is something because it's getting harder to come across stuff I need. Duck Dodgers, um, 64, five bucks. That's a really good game. Oh, really? How much is the box one? Dude. The box is a little faded, but generally it's a bit cheap. How much for the box? Again, this is one of those stores where it's not a super expensive game. Here's our generic price. Yeah, $10 with the box. 10 bucks with the box? Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. I don't care if it's faded or not. I don't know, man. It's kind of faded. Yeah, I'm not Eric. It's kind of faded. I'm not oh, Eric, man. so I'm good on that. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and definitely buy it now if you're telling me not to. The box is a little bit sun faded, but that doesn't matter. $10 for uh, a complete Duck Dodgers on 64 is extremely good. How much is Deadly Arts? $5 as well. I'll go ahead and take that too then. All right, see Deadly Arts, another $5 game. I need this game. I'm gonna pick this one up also. Deadly Arts is a 3D fighting game, uh, similar to DOA or even Soul Calibur. Not that great, ain't no Tekken, but I need this for the collection. All right, I'm stoked now because I'm seeing a Super Nintendo game that I have been pining over for quite some time now, and that is The Death and Return of Superman. It's a beat-em-up based on the comic where he died, and it's a pretty good game. It's, uh, well, I mean, I love beat-em-ups, so anything like beat-em-up related, I'm kind of into um, Batman Returns, I love. That's a really good game. Uh, it's a good game, too. I'll take that. I'll take that. Clay Fighter, down here on the bottom shelf. It's $5 as well, because it's not the special ones, the regular one. Don't you need the regular one? I do need the regular one. So Five bucks, I need this one. I have Sculptor's Cut. I bought that one in Canada a few years back. Um, I have the rare and expensive one. I didn't have the cheap and common one. Well, now I do. Man, you guys, one-stop shop. How much is the Mortal Kombat Mythologies? Or the Sub-Zero? Yeah, another one that's five dollars. That was five bucks too? Yes. Seriously? Yeah, that's awesome. I was a Mortal Kombat character. I'd be Liu Kang, except I'm not Asian and I can't bicycle kick through the air or shoot fireballs for that matter. Um, but yeah, I'm that's what I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does any of that matter? It's like you can fly anyway. <laughs> uh, actually the Saturn, the Saturn stuff. Now one system that I am lacking on in terms of a collection is the Sega Saturn. Uh, generally speaking, they're like eight, 10 bucks. Eight, 10 bucks? Yeah. It's a good deal on that. I already have it. Warcraft 2 oh, piqued my interest here. This thing actually looks factory sealed. If I don't have any use for it down the road, then I'll definitely give it to somebody who, who would want it, but which I actually ended up doing. Alpha would, Alpha would probably watch this video. You better get that! Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Why the f are you recording me when I'm not even in the episode? I'm just here. <laughs> Hey, Alpha Megason, want to do an interview? For what? An episode you're not in! Fuck this unsub. Alright, so this King Arthur is kind of calling me, but I'm not sure I want to pay the price that they're asking. Not that it's a bad price, but I want to buy a box, the cardboard essentially. I want it to look the best that it can. What do you think? I'll pass on it. Pass on, pass on. Yeah. Leave it for the next guy. Leave it for the next guy. There you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, this unsub. This is the final maybe pile that I think is going to be a for sure pile, right? Yeah. Go for it. I actually have the box in the game. I don't have a manual for the lemmings. 
Big box, PS1. All right, so we got our all our maybe piles going here. We're ready to check out. Let's see what the damage is. So we're looking at 85 so far. 85, all right. That's an extremely good price for all the stuff we're picking up. Two trips, three years apart, scored both times. Amazing. Last time I was here, I got a factory sealed uh, Ocarina of Time. This time I get a factory sealed automobile Lamborghini. Not quite the same. I understand that. But there's still good stuff out there at good prices. This is one of those stores. I love coming to Roswell and I love coming to Galaxy Games. This is our second time here and the prices, the, the, the people working the counter are just as awesome as they were when we first came here. I only wish, the only thing that I'd wish is that 8-Bit Eric came with us so I could Jedi mind trick him into getting something else that I needed. He only spends so much at once. That's true, but I mean, everything was low. Everything was below market value. So I'm happy spending what we spent. Uh, the Duck Dodgers, no manual, but I got the box. Even though it's faded, I still got the box. I'm probably gonna regret that uh, King Arthur. Not getting it? Yeah. Probably. I mean, lo lo loose, loose. It's about a 30. $30, 35 dollar game, and he was saying 18. But I don't know. You know you're gonna, you want, dude. I gotta turn around. You want me to go? Nah. All right, so I've arrived at Chris's place to pick up my N64 cabinet. We're gonna stick it into his truck and bring it over to my place. I see that he has one of these cabinets set up with lights in it, completely cleaned up, his game his game collection inside of it. I'm trying to buy it off of him because I have no place to put my stuff and I'm trying to clean out my garage. Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? that goes into my garage gets overhauled and worked on and the cabinet was sitting there and was speaking to me. I just kind of went and got some pegboard and some lights to, to fit the ballast and put all my shit in there. So Chase probably gonna be pissed, but oh well. Uh, it's all good. He actually took the, my version was the worst one. So he took the worst one. Jay doesn't give him the cabinet. Jay's gonna want his which means that I'm gonna to have to take the one that Chris has all that stuff in. It's just gonna be a big freaking mess. The easiest thing right now for me personally is if they reach an agreement. What does he want right now? Okay, so. Texting McTexterson. All right. Oh. <laughs> this guy. Now that she's on the other foot. Kind of, actually. Right. You're right. So what do you, uh, you, you want the cabinet, right? Uh, why not, I'll, I'll listen to the redneck, but I ain't taking saddles and spurs for the shit. I need like, I need something more real, more like Republic credits or something. I need hey, the cabinet. Hey, he needs the cabinet. He needs it. Yeah. So what are you, what are you offering? Because you were texting me the entire time I was what'd in pay, Star Wars. What'd you pay for the cabinet? For the third time. 180 bucks. So what'd you pay for the I cabinet? I paid 180. You want 180 bucks? I'll give you 180 bucks. Well, I still owe you on the Sega CD case, right? Well, I didn't expect for you to. I wasn't expecting charity on a discount. If you need the 180 bucks, I'm willing to pay the 180 bucks. You know, it's like brotherly brotherly type of love that we have for each other, you know, we fight and shit, you know, and bitch and, you know, wrestle and arm wrestle and shit. But I mean, I, I can't really foresee him like being a dick and being like, no, you're not getting the case. We walked Six Flags Mall the other day. That's as much nostalgia as it is for me or you or Billy. We've influenced him in this sort of way because I think deep down inside, you know, he, I know firsthand that he grew up with this stuff because we both grew up with this stuff. And so now he's, he's remembering it now, all now. I don't have the room like y'all have it. So to have that little spot where I can put whatever I have in there and be able to close the doors and keep them clean, that's a pretty big deal. Now, on top of that, the fact that I probably have bought a game out of that case just like you or Billy, that adds a whole nother aspect to it. Yeah, it does. But I'm not going to, I'm like I told <clears throat> Billy before we left, I said, you know, I'm not going to beat Jay over the f head. He found them fair and square. If he wants to keep them fair and square, that's fine. I said, but, but, but if you allow me the chance to buy one, I will buy one off of you. You know, being 12 years old and walking into a KB toy store, you know, you started going batshit crazy before you ever got in. You just see the sign, you're like, oh, I'm that close. And then you get, the closer you get, you see all the cool shit and you're like, no, what do I touch first, you know? We'll just cut the bullshit in the theatrics. Um, what I owe you on the Sega CD case? 
the bottle of Tawaka, pineapple juice, and a turtles in time. Because I was supposed to give. We'll you go forty-five. So, so you, you gave you got you you said fifty-five on that fucking bottle. Well, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks have passed, and still no pineapple juice. Jay was gonna find a turtles in time. Well, Chris ended up getting one before Jay could find one. So now Jay kind of technically owes Chris fifty or so dollars worth of games. And so that would be 45 for the the hunt the rest of the hundo. So we'll say 45 bucks. Great. All right, let's do this then. We're even on that. Give me a hundred dollars. The case is yours. If you decide to get rid of it, I have dibs. I'm fucking down. All right. It definitely helps my attitude when they ask me to go above and beyond. Of hey, we need you to come film on a Saturday, and I don't I don't know I work nights, so I don't get to see my family that much and. It's a lot easier for me to say yes, knowing I'm appreciated and put things on the back burner so I can come film. I walk up to his garage. He's got the damn thing lit up and full of games already. <laughs> and I'm like, he already had this motherfucker hooked up. He had it set up. He had his games going, his systems going, the LEDs in it and everything. And he's got mine, mine, not yours, mine lit well, up. I took, the, I took the worst, I took the one that was in worst condition. <laughs> what the fuck, what if I had said no? Okay, both cabinets, that's the the one side that you're gonna present, that's the only one that survived. The Nintendo and the 64 logo is the only one that survived. So I took the crappy one. He, he basically had already stolen it and claimed it and made it his own and then negotiated for it. It's a little dirty, it's a little risque, if you will, but it worked out for him. And honestly, I can't be mad at something I would have done. Not gonna lie. <laughs> This motherfucker had it already set up in his garage. Sorry, in I, his garage. You know what? Fucking, you know what started it was. You you knew I was gonna let you. No, no, I, 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 I swear, right hand of the man. I honestly, I thought you were gonna throw a bitch fit and make me bring it to you. If he would have said, "Hey, bring it over to my house," that would have been nothing I could have done about it. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and bitch and cry and uh, you know, you paid the money for it, dude. It's yours. When I got home from the ER from taking Paisley, I was stressed out as shit and I was. I kind of needed to take my mind off of something. So I walked into the garage and I just, I looked at those cabinets. I started thinking, I was like, man, that's so cool. Cause KB Toys, man, I used to beg my parents every time we go, I'll tell me, let me go into KB Toys. The more he's come out with us and starting to rekindle that love of retro that he actually grew up with himself, he's becoming more of a gamer now. So his garage is turning into more of a, a game room, a, a nerd cave, if you will. I was like, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm sorry. It was it was like I was 12 years old again. It really was. We're turning him from a redneck into a nerd. A redneck nerd, I guess if you will. He's always going to be a redneck. You can you can take the redneck out of the redneck, but you can't take the redneck out of the redneck. Like that don't make sense. <laughs> get an old couch from like Goodwill and I'm gonna have like a projector with a screen and so that way I can start having game night or whatever or I have my own game room. Never ever imagined that I'd have a couch and a recliner in my garage and this big massive ass projector screen and I'd play video games out there. I mean even me, my dad comes over now and we'll play NBA Jam like all the shit that I played with played with him as a kid we're playing again you know and it's that, that right there, you know, to have a couple beers with my dad and play NBA Jam, that's the shit. That's why I do it. That's honestly why I do it. You know, it's not that I'm some huge, huge collector or gamer, or, you know, I, I grew up with this stuff. And now that now that I uh, am playing what I've used to play, I'm picking up games that I've never played. We start playing that old game on that system, but we've never played it before. So even though it's a retro game, something that I've never played, I'm sitting there playing it with my friends or my dad or a family member. It creates new memories. And I think that's what video gaming is pretty much all about. I think it's good, maybe to a degree, as long as he <laughs> keeps rolling the camera when he's supposed to, you son of a bitch. That's a really good game. There's barely any thrift stores and when they're there, they think that they have everything in the entire world that's basically just made out of gold and it's worth a million dollars. Better go and check eBay for that And you wanna know who's caught slipping fucking nobody because nobody can afford this stuff. You basically gotta have like a million and one dollars to afford anything. And naturally, oh, there's there. My broke ass can't get a shit because you know, poor kid. Ha, that's so fucking awesome. I, I just, I love that so, so much. I, I just, I, I wish someone loved me. At, at at all. I just, I just wish I... Uh, oh.